let us link the uh, obligations for registration as well as reporting, we learned about which in uh, this morning in very much detail, to the uh, different kind of substances which need to be registered. For new substance, there is a simplified registration need, and this is probably the key difference compared to EU reach for substances manufactured or imported below one ton per year, with a decrease of this threshold to below 100 kilogram or 0.1 ton by 2020, so quite a, a challenging tonnage threshold. There is the registration obligation we know from uh, EU reach for all new substances imported uh, or, or manufactured uh, in exceedance of one ton per year for manufacturers, importers, only representative prior to the manufacturer or import. And there is the additional OSHA registration for manufacturer and import. The priority existing substances, in short, PEC, need to be uh, registered uh, as in the EU for more than one ton per year, but this is only a number of 510 substances at current. The Ministry of the Environment may even ask for registration uh, for specific substances uh, uh, imported or manufactured in amounts below one ton. And for all non-priority substance, the big uh, amount of existing substances, there is no registration obligation but again, the annual reporting uh, obligation. For those of you who are now in the uh, planning to register a PEC substance, there uh, is a process uh, with which you are probably familiar if you have uh, registered substances uh, in the EU. As a first step, there is the uh, substance volume tracking and the establishment of a substance inventory, which you can compile against the current PEC list of uh, 510 substances. There is a next step of uh, CIF initiation. Sign in the CIF, elect the uh, lead registrant, and uh, establish substance sameness. Third step of uh, data collection, data gap analysis, cost sharing, and uh, potentially uh, development of test proposals. The uh, dossier compilation uh, for starting with uh, preparation of robust uh, study summaries in uh, Korean language. The development of hazard and uh, risk assessments. And uh, I will give this a bit more emphasis as there has been a lot of confusion within industry who actually is doing the hazard assessment and the risk assessment, whether this is done by the authorities or whether this needs to be, uh, or whether this is in the scope of the dossier. And finally, the dossier compilation step, uh, the, the submission review by NIR and hopefully the issuance of a registration certificate. Putting a timeline against this uh, project plan and allocating some uh, responsibilities for the project manager, the uh, technical uh, staff or the technical consultant, the uh, legal team, then we are still in this uh, very initial project initiation uh, phase, CIF formation. And um, in the next slide I will, will uh, explain a bit on the various uh, approaches currently discussed. And then we will enter in the main phase uh, the 120 CIFs which have elected uh, uh, lead registrant are uh, approaching now, get into the dossier uh, compilation and finally submission of the dossiers. So it's the same deadline as for EU REACH phase three. So uh, we, we all aim for getting the dossiers finalized in uh, late 2017 to not run into a hurry in 2018. Lessons learned. A substance identity must be consistent with the SDN database. Ornia will request additional information, non-GLP studies, as I said. Uh, Nia verbally uh, confirmed that a weight of evidence approach uh, can be used 
uh, if well substantiated, but it has not been uh, exercised by now. Read across is proved to be accepted by Nier as long as well uh, justified. Nier wants to have a very clear understanding on the substance uses and uh, the guidance on uh, safe use. Uh, needs to be needs to follow and needs to be compiled following the uh, official Korean uh, template. So you cannot just recycle your uh, guidance of safe use uh, you compiled for your EU dossier. So uh, the the real good thing about KREACH is that e after uh, one month you have already security whether your uh, dossier is accepted, and then you enter into a six uh, or up to twelve month process uh, of exchange with uh, a near uh, and the potential request for uh, additional data. I think from what I experienced so far, this is foreseen a, a bit more interactive or iterative process than we know from, from the EU, st EU dossiers. So uh, don't be afraid if there's a claim for additional info from NIA. For all other kinds of uh, registration, simplified registrations or confirmations, you have uh, a very, very short uh, uh, reply or return uh, periods from, from the uh, authority, which is uh, much appreciated. This is, this is my final slide. The key consideration, there is a need for a standardized CIF and data sharing uh, templates. More sharing of best practice is needed by NIA, especially for uh, the dossier preparation, so we, we lack of a guidance uh, for, for dossier compilation. The NIA evalu uh, evaluation process is much more iterative compared to what we know from ECHA. Uh, an official translation of all KREACH uh, documents, which uh, would, would help a lot to, to uh, get a full understanding of all requirements, and uh, the final Please uh, do not wait for the others to kick off. We know 360 substances lack of a key uh, lead registrant, so you better uh, move now to not run short of time in the end. Thank you.